The year was 1984. Scientology stood at the threshold of a new era of expansion and prosperity. And despite all odds, we were fast approaching that point beyond which nothing could stop planetary clearing. But the enemies of man, sensing they could lose their suppressive grip, converged and intensified their assault, one that no group could hope to survive. A full-scale attack on every front, in the courts, in the media, and bringing to bear the full force of the most powerful governments on Earth. The only chance we had for survival was to unite all Scientologists as one worldwide group with the resources needed to fight back and secure our rights. And so it was. A desperate few rallied beneath a banner that stood for commitment without reservation and inspired an eternal pledge to mankind. To unite, advance, support, and protect the Scientology religion and Scientologists in all parts of the world so as to achieve the aims of Scientology. And with that, the International Association of Scientologists was born. Our first test came in Portland, where a heresy trial was orchestrated by the suppressive forces. Tens of thousands of IAS members from around the world rallied for a first crusade in the name of religious freedom. Against insurmountable odds, defeat was turned into total victory, and the winning tradition of the IAS was forged. The suppressive elements retaliated, this time enlisting pharmaceutical giants and multi-million dollar merchants of chaos for a final assault. But again, there were the members of the IAS, standing firm, never yielding, fighting back with the broadest public information campaign in our history, telling the story they wouldn't tell and right in the pages of America's largest publications. Across the airwaves and right on national television, exposing their lies and replacing it with truth. And finally, that truth prevailed, and the 40-year war with the IRS was over. Our greatest triumph in history. Full recognition of every church and related social betterment activity across the United States. In the wake of that victory, we next purged 20 years of lies, shutting down the Interpol conduit of false reports and dismantling the world's foremost anti-religious hate machine. And so, as that first IAS decade came to a close, the membership stood stronger and larger than ever. And from that base of support, we set forth on something never before possible, a planetary salvage crusade. We began by filling the vacuum with IAS-sponsored distribution of what is Scientology to government leaders across five continents. Then it was the same with the Scientology handbook, and all of it flanked with What is Scientology exhibitions to hundreds of cities across 23 nations. And so it was, with the world's foremost religious leaders joining our crusade, we moved on to secure the religious rights of Scientologists in nation after nation, from Sweden to South Africa, Taiwan to Tanzania. And wherever suppressives have attempted to block man's road to freedom, there again is the IAS in force, flooding the corridors of power with our message, condemning totalitarian outlaws before the eyes of the world, exposing their crimes in international media, and marching in the streets for religious freedom. In Italy, where truth again prevailed with the foremost legal precedent on religion, for all of Europe. Then again in Spain, wiping away a two-decade inquisition to total victory. And right into Germany, the heartland of intolerance, planting a seven-story statement as a permanent reminder that we are here to stay. 
Whereupon, the IAS stepped to the forefront in the name of freedom for every human being, beginning with the establishment of a headquarters for human rights in the heart of the new Europe. At which point, we launched the world's foremost human rights campaign through publications educating the public to their rights in more than 20 languages. Summits enlightening leaders of millions. Continental marathons raising awareness across some 90 cities. And public service announcements rolling out around the globe, all to make human rights a fact for every inhabitant of Earth. And all made possible through grants from the IAS.